This is political. And you know how, why we know it's so political? Who did they pick? Who did Garland pick? Who did the Biden administration pick for the special counsel? Jack Smith. Jack Smith's the guy that I depo we deposed back in May of 2014 because Jack Smith, when he worked at DOJ, was looking for ways, think about this, looking for ways to prosecute. Here's who Jack Smith was trying to prosecute. The very people who were targeted by Obama's IRS, the very people who were targeted by Lois Lerner, he was trying to prosecute those people, the people who were actually victims, the people who were actually victims. In 2013, then acting director of exempt organizations at IRS, Lois Lerner, apologized to a room of tax lawyers for the IRS inappropriate targeting of conservative political groups. Tea Party and other conservative nonprofit groups applying for tax exempt status between 2010 and 2012 were subjected to additional scrutiny. Organizations that included the words Tea Party or Patriot in their application for tax-exempt status were required to fill out long, detailed questionnaires and, in some instances, these conservative nonprofit groups had to wait years before their application was approved. The IRS later admitted to delaying or even denying approval of their applications for tax-exempt status to ensure these organizations wouldn't affect Barack Obama's chances of getting re-elected. Jay Sekulow, the chief counsel for the American Center for Law and Justice, brought a lawsuit on behalf of dozens of Tea Party and other conservative nonprofits. The IRS admitted the targeting here. The FEC and the Department of Justice were in conversations with right. Lois Lerner. Lois Lerner was in cahoots with the Department of Justice to, in their words, Lois Lerner the director of the IRS division that oversees nonprofit groups colluded with the Justice Department to do this. Quote, piece together, this is what she said, this is what she said, potential criminal cases against our clients for exercising their freedom of speech. Constructed long questionnaires for them to complete so they could catch them in a lie. You do know from emails that we have found that's just from the emails they had found. Here's what happened to her other emails. What a coincidence. Here's what happened when Lois Lerner was called to testify before Congress about the scandal. After very careful consideration, I've decided to follow my counsel's advice and not testify or answer any of the questions today. Because I'm asserting my right not to testify, I know that some people will assume that I've done something wrong. Lerner was later held in contempt of Congress by the House. Still, the Justice Department notified members of Congress that it was closing its investigation into whether the IRS improperly targeted conservative groups. At the time of the IRS scandal, Jack Smith led the Justice Department's Public Integrity Unit. The FEC and the Department of Justice were in conversations with right. Lois Lerner. Jack Smith was closely involved with the IRS. He was trying to prosecute those people, the people who were actually victims. Lois Lerner was in cahoots with the Department of Justice to, in their words, quote, piece together, this is what she said, potential criminal cases against our clients for exercising their freedom of speech. Jack Smith, when he worked at DOJ, was looking for ways, think about this, looking for ways to prosecute the very people who were targeted by Obama's IRS, the very people who were targeted by Lois Lerner. He was trying to prosecute those people, the people who were actually victims. That's the guy they picked.